this report studies the degree of safety afforded by forward control vehicles and the possibilities of repairing them following a head-on collision. To back up their own current findings, Volkswagen AG had the Allianz Technology Center perform crash tests. The results were published in the September 1984 edition of the ADAC Motor Welt. The Allianz Technology Center selected a test setup representative of 90% of all accidents. A fixed 40% barrier. Crashing into such a projection at 35 km per hour corresponds to a head-on collision at 50 to 55 km per hour. Quotes from research report. Collision at 36 kilometers per hour, deformation 380 millimeters. Legroom was reduced considerably, despite relatively slight deformation. Hard splintered plastic fragments from dashboard penetrated deep into the knee. Chest impact against the steering wheel rim was severe. The permanent deformation is clearly visible. From research report, collision at 36.9 kilometers per hour, deformation 400 millimeters. The driver's door was jammed and had to be opened using a heavy implement. The master brake cylinder which came through into the interior of the vehicle hit the right knee, thus causing the highest thigh impact in the entire test series. A real accident would have resulted in a shattered kneecap.
Collision at 36 kilometers per hour. Deformation, 420 millimeters. Once again, the driver's door had to be forced open. Deformation of the passenger compartment is considerable. The left leg is wedged between dashboard and clutch pedal. The rear steering wheel rim severely impacted the soft parts of the stomach. Collision at 36.6 kilometers per hour, deformation 520 millimeters. During the collision, the steering column bent upwards. As a result, the steering wheel rim impacted the chest very unfavorably. The dummy could only be freed from the vehicle using hydraulic rescue equipment. Head impacts against upper steering wheel rim. Collision at 37.3 kilometers per hour, deformation 450 millimeters. The highest measured value during the test was recorded when the head hit the upper steering wheel rim. The dashboard was pressed together with the steering system into the interior of the vehicle. A view of the damage to the front of the vehicle. It extends into the rear frame area. Collision at 36.3 kilometers per hour. Deformation 650 millimeters. Highest value recorded in test. The reason for this is the door lock being ripped out upon impact. Here, the driver would have been completely trapped. The right hand door had to be forced open. Hydraulic rescue equipment again had to be used to free the dummy. A view of the front of the vehicle from underneath shows that the right-hand side member was also considerably buckled. For this reason, the right-hand door could also no longer be opened.
collision at 36.7 kilometers per hour, deformation 360 millimeters, lowest value obtained in test. The external deformation is already a clear indication of the considerably smaller penetration depth with respect to the other transporters tested. The safety steering column was forced slightly upwards but scarcely penetrated into the vehicle interior. The legs were not endangered. The leg room was only slightly restricted. Those were the quotes from the report of the 4th of June 1984 from the Allianz Technology Center. These photographs, for example, are enclosed as an appendix. Two distinct factors demonstrate how well or badly the vehicles performed. Firstly, the compression figure, that is, the degree to which the vehicle is compressed. All Japanese models suffered considerable deformation. In most cases, the driver could only have been freed with the help of heavy equipment, a major restriction as regards accident rescue operations. The second distinct feature concerns injury to passengers, which was measured on the dummy used, a so-called male humanoid two, triaxially for both head and chest and in both thighs. With reference to the Volkswagen Transporter, the report remarks, in contrast to the Japanese models tested, the VW Transporter Type 2 affords excellent passenger safety equal to that of a car. Regarding the question of possibly repairing the vehicle following a head-on collision, the test report concluded, all vehicles, with the exception of the VW Type 2, had to be classed as write-offs it would be possible to fully repair the VW Type 2 at reasonable cost. <laughs>